<laughs> like, what am I? Whoa! Oh no, I activated sticky keys. Oh my god. I I got too hyped for this, guys. I got too hyped for this. I'm sorry. I'm just excited. Okay? Ooh, close up. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Your view, her view. <laughs> all right, I'm done messing around. Okay, all right, all right, all right. For real though. So I'm gonna show you today immediately, immediately, bro. Immediately, I'm gonna show you how to do a automatic sugarcane farm. And it's gonna be kind of of my own design, but also based off a design I got from, uh, I believe, I believe it was Mumbo Jumbo. I'm not sure. Uh, I, I watch, I like a lot of his videos, so, uh, I, I do watch him a lot. But, uh, it, it's a pretty simple design. It's one with a rail cart going under the line of sugar cane just to collect it. And then dropping it off in a little chest. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with that. And then we're going to build the uh, sugar cane farm on top of it. Look at this little guy. Get out of here. I mean, you're cute, but like, leave, bro. I'm trying to film. <laughs> Excuse me? This boy just sassed off to me. Okay. So, I don't know why. I ha you know what? Get out of here. All right. Anyway, he started heading back, didn't he? <laughs> All right, let's get started. So what we're going to need for the first part is we're going to need a hopper, and we're going to need our chests, and we're going to need um, two powered rails. You get six when you make them, so but you're going to need only two. And then we're going to need ten, I believe, or eight. We're going to need eight actual rails. We're going to need a redstone torch and a minecart with hopper. So don't forget to have that minecart and put a hopper in it. It can't just be a regular minecart. It is something I have to stress. Okay, so this stuff right here is building materials. And then this stuff is what we're going to need for the top part of the machine, I guess, <laughs> of the sugarcane farm. Okay. So let's get working on our chest. And we're going to build it. One, two, three, four, five. Put our chest down here. And then feeding into the back of that chest, put our hopper. And then we'll remove this block just to show you. You're going to want to make sure that hopper feeds directly into that chest. And then just put this block back. And then powered rail on the hopper. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight regular rails, and another powered rail on the end. And then get uh, just whatever block you want. Um, I'm going to be using stone for it. Stone block. Okay. And then put your torches on the inside, or I'm sorry, on the outside other side of your chest one for each powered rail go ahead and get your minecart with hopper place it right there and it should start going just like that and that's exactly how that bottom part is supposed to look um, and then just use whatever temporary blocks you want to use I'm gonna use stone and then just put the back of this right here all right, and we're going to build this up on top of it. And then remember, um, on top of this, on top of this uh, minecart rail has to be dirt, which uh, I forgot. So give me a second to get some dirt. OK, I knew I was forgetting something I <laughs> like the most basic ingredient. So stop. Ooh, it hit me. Oh, God. You know, it should, like, cause damage <laughs> when it hits you, right? Like, it should cause, like, half a heart. That makes sense, though, doesn't it? I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Controversial. Post your uh, opinions in the comments. Should minecarts, when they hit you, uh, give you damage? Question mark? I think so. 
That makes sense, right? Like, because if you get hit by a car, bro, like, oof. All right, uh, enough of my rant. So <laughs> let's build this up. I'm going to start using, um, you know what? I'm not sure what I want. I think I want to use spruce planks for the second part, but you can use whatever you want. Feel free to just design this whatever, however you want to. These parts are this ju just the design blocks. So that's really the bottom part kind of all finished. And then we're going to build over this chest. And then I'm actually going to do right here, we're going to do steps just so we can get to the level of the chest. And I'm going to put a floor in too. So these are going to be spruce steps when I, whenever I get to it. <laughs> All right. So remember, the water has to go right here. That's the thing. Or I suppose the water, the water could go here. You know what? Yeah, the, oh, hey, you're about to step on my crops, bro. You, hey, oh, oh, you, you're lucky I don't have a sword, dude. What are you, what are you trading? What are you trading? What's up? Nothing? I will, I would take this cayenne die. Cyan? Um, yeah, dude. Welcome. Uh, I'm in the middle of a tutorial. Who are you? What? <laughs> what the fuck, man? What are you doing over here? So usually, uh, if this guy doesn't have anything good to trade, like a slime ball or anything, I usually usually just a slime ball for me. Um, I kill him and I take his leads and. Oh, dude! Okay, dude, I'm gonna kill you. Okay, give me a second, guys. You, you're just, you, ugh, you're messing up my crops, man. You're messing up my crops. He's messing up my crops. It's time to die, bro. <laughs> you know what? This dude deserves it. The first victim of the diamond sword. Look at it. It's not even used yet. All right. For the penalty. I'm stepping on the crops of Lamonia. That's my that's my town name, Lamonia, because my last name's Lemon. Okay, yeah, ha ha ha. Of Lamonia, you have been sentenced to death. Ow! Hey, all right, you guys are sentenced to death too. <laughs> Okay, there's going to be a short intermission. Okay, welcome back. Did you have fun in the bathroom? That's what you're supposed to do at intermission. I don't know. All right. So, <laughs> like I said, we're going to um, build our water back here. But what we have to do is we have to make sure the water doesn't flow anywhere. So, I'm going to build... Oof. No, I wanted to build that up with stone. Oh, do I even have enough stone? Whatever. I can replace it later. So build this up. And then where you have dirt only, this is where you're going to put the water. And remember, there's already... Well, I guess not here. Hmm. What are we going to do about this? The water's going to flow onto it. Is it going to waterlog it? Okay, so that's fun. That just destroyed all my crap. Alright, I have an idea. Hold on a second. Okay, so I just moved it over uh, by one block. And, uh, yeah, it looks, it looks better, and now we're able to do the water. So... I'm going to break this down, and then I'm going to put the water in it, and we're going to go from there. Okay. So, this is how we want it. You can add more water if you want to, but this is really all you'll need. Um, and then all we're going to do is we're, we're going to not we're gonna not place the sugar cane yet. What we're going to do is we're going to build over the water. All right. And like I said, this wood is just filler blocks, so 
I'm not actually gonna uh, have it all just be wood. I'm gonna redesign it, like the corners and the bottom and, and the roof later. Um, but I'm just making it simple so I can show you the tutorial. So <clears throat> build it up. We're gonna want to build it up three because that's the normal height for sugar cane to be at, I guess. <laughs> all right. And then, let's see. These are actually... Let's build up the back here. My bad. Okay. So I have to take these back out because I have to make them pistons. Okay. Get your pistons and make sure that the wood part of the pistons is facing outward so it's going to push this way do that all the way across should have 10 pistons for 10 pieces of dirt pieces of sugar cane i guess all right and then you're only gonna need one observer you can have more it's just one really seems to do it so place it from the back so that the eyes like the face of the observer is facing this way so when this face detects uh the sugar cane has grown to three height it will activate all the pistons and the sugar cane will fall only on these blocks and it will be picked up by oops i forgot to put the minecart back in <laughs> so it'll be picked up by the minecart yeah and then we can collect it because the minecart will drop it off. And let's see if we can make this. Hey, there we go. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. So this is the redstone part. Pay attention to this one. You're only going to want to put redstone behind the pistons and going into the observer. So yeah, you only need 10 pieces of redstone. So when this observer activates, it'll send out a redstone pulse. That will activate every single piston at once, and it should work, and we'll test it in a second. You know what? Let me build up the front of this. I think, I don't know. Hold on a second. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, and then I don't know if I want to build this up with glass. Ugh, oof. Um, or just put glass on the piston level. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm only going to put glass on the piston level. So let me build this up with wood. And then we'll of course have the borders be wood. Get that block of wood. And then before we lock ourselves out or in, um... Yeah, let's put the sugar cane down. And, uh... We don't have to test it yet. We can test it later. We just have to make sure we don't fall in. So that's... I guess about all the... Uh, you know what? It, is this not in the center? I guess there is no center, is there? It's an even number. Okay, um... <laughs> then we'll do this. Build it out two blocks. Two... Okay, and then let's build it up. And, of course, don't place it on the redstone. Obviously, that's not going to help anyone. Uh, okay, so, I'm not sure if we can... <laughs> what a loser. Alright, perfect. So, do we have enough glass for this? Okay, so I actually ran back uh, to my little farmhouse because I wanted to grab oak slabs because that's how I wanted to do at least, like, over here. Hold on, I, I still want to test out the... Let's see. So it should work. Hey, Was that all of them? I don't know. I didn't see. That was all of them. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. 
Very nice. So I'm just going to line the back of this as well. All right, so let's take a look at it from the front. And I'm going to put stairs here eventually. But basically, oh, it looks kind of cool actually up there like that. Um, so yeah, you can see when it starts to grow and when it reaches the observer. And you can see the little thing going. And then, uh, well, look at that, we got four. <laughs> oh, wow. So I'm going to actually put the rest of the sugar cane I got in there. But, um, yeah. Okay, and then one more thing is uh, you don't want to forget to light up the back here just because uh, I guess if you're on a single player world, it's not that bad. Uh, but on a server, the lighting up of the redstone in the dark can cause li will cause lighting changes uh, and might cause lag. So uh, just light up your redstone so that it doesn't really cause that many lighting changes. It's already lit. Uh, so when the redstone does light up, it'll be okay. Alright, so this is our fully automatic sugarcane farm. I'm glad I got that down, and uh, now I don't have any sugarcane over there. Uh, somehow I'm going to do something with this wheat and potato and uh, carrot farm. But I think the next automatic farm I'm going to do is pumpkins. And hopefully, since I'm going to be exploring north today, since I got a horse... Um, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, run across some melons, and we might do a pumpkin and melon farm. Uh, automatic pumpkin and melon farm. Because they, they grow the same, and it should be no problem to do them together. Uh, I've done it before. So let's put all our stuff away. All right. So I just realized I, uh, I, this, is, this is a story show we worked on last episode, and it's going nice. And this is how I'm organizing it so far. So this is the mining chest, and we're going to need 24 from here because we're going to make a full set of armor and then this is redstone this is wood uh but i use all of it this is stone and cobblestone and then i have the rest of these unfilled except for this one over here which is food uh and then of course uh, i've stocked these full of coal they all have 32 coal which is a pretty decent amount of coal i think because i went on a mining strip but uh i i did i made the road uh it looks really nice I think I think it I think it looks cool, but yeah, this little race track it, it looks good. It looks good. Uh, so the story uh, rip rip to the fastest horse because I thought I could level up by mining quartz in the Nether. And I, if you guys remember from the terrible episode that we won't mention, uh, we uh, well we died a lot in the Nether, and the zombie pigmen are still angry at me. So I died. Uh, again, and I lost that horse, uh, but I I took the fastest horse in the nether, and I didn't take my original horse, so I still got my good horse. No worries, I still got that, and I did a bunch of AFK fishing. And uh, let me show you what I got. So, I organized it a little bit, I got bottles, I got three enchanted books, I got protection three and efficiency three. I got just protection three, so I'm gonna use this one right here for efficiency three. And then this one I got knockback two, power three, and efficiency three. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that for knockback two or power three yet. Uh, but this bow has power three, unbreaking three, punch one, and mending, which is probably the bow I'm gonna be using. Uh, because just for the sole fact that it has mending, uh, Unbreaking 2 and Infinity is this bow, and that's not bad. Uh, I'd like to fuse it with Power 3 and Unbreaking 3, because that would be, like, I'd like to combine these two. I would need an anvil, though, so we're going to make an anvil uh, in a second before we do that, uh, just so we can combine that. But I have this one that's Mending and Lure 2, and then this regular fishing rod that I fished up. I got another saddle, and then since I died with my horse in the nether, I actually had another saddle here that I fished up, but I'm using it uh, because I lost my original saddle, unfortunately. So this is the tropical fish I got. Uh, this is, yeah, it, it's it's other random fishing stuff. So And then I did get two name tags. So, um, yeah, I'm going to name my horse. I'm going to name my horse after I so I'm going to sleep on it. <laughs> And, um, I'm gonna, let me build my anvil real quick. So we need, we need three iron blocks. Let's get rid of this. One, two, three. There we go. Alright, so put them at the bottom, and then I believe, uh, is it the other way around? 
See, now I'm confused. I don't know. It is, okay, so that's the anvil. Perfect. Very good. So let's put these back. We got a name tag. We should put this somewhere. Sick. All right. So there's the anvil. Let's put those. Oh, so I have to be level 16. Okay, that's a pretty dope bow, though. So I won't combine, combine those yet. I'm not even level 1. <sighs> Let's go see the damage, boys. I mean, it looks okay. Damn. He really didn't do much damage. That's awesome! None of the chests. Yo, I'm the luckiest. Like, <laughs> that's so sick. Okay, cool. Let's put the. He didn't even destroy the door. What a nerd. All right, so uh, I'm gonna have to kill some things, aren't I? Let's see what 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 are we gonna name him? I got it. If you guys get that reference, you're sick, bro. If you don't, I'll tell it to you as I name him. The Wild Stallions were the name of Bill and Ted's band, bro. <laughs> in, in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure with Keanu Reeves. Oh my god, Keanu! Yeah, alright, okay, so... <laughs> That was their band, bro. You should go watch that movie right now. Stop. Like, after this video. Don't stop watching me, please. I swear. Alright. So. The one last thing I need is gonna be a compass. Just so I can find my way back. So let's go ahead. We're gonna need just one of these. And... Eight. Oh no, I only need four. My bad. Perfect. Hey, alright. So let's put that to the side. Okay. Where is he? There he is. Okay. Let's get going. Northward bound. Alright. You guys excited? You guys excited to go to the north, bro? Oh, sweet berries, bro. Ah! Ah! Careful! Yeah. I love these things. You can make a sweet berry farm. You can technically make an automatic sweet berry farm, but it's not, like, really automatic. It, like, involves water. I forgot whose I watched. I was, like, you know how you go down the, like, endless videos of YouTube? And you're like, oh. Oh, oh, this video. Oh, and then this video. And then suddenly it's like 5 in the morning and you're like, I have to get up for work in an hour. Yeah, me too, bro. Oh. Alright. What else? What else? Is it just all spruce wood, bro? More pumpkins? <gasps> Why did I bring bones? Holy crap, he looks angry. He scared me. Oh no, is he gonna kill this bunny? What you doing to the bunny? <laughs> oh my gosh, I think he killed the bunny. I didn't want him as a pet anyway. No, I really do though. I mean, it's good to know you can find wolves here. Because like, I'll definitely... Oh! Dude? Oh! <laughs> it's super rare to find these on land. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, there's hella zombies down there too. Alright, so I'm gonna eat a little bit. Let's heal up before I, uh, oh, hold up, hold up. I gotta. Hey! Come here! Stay here! Alright, so now that's my re respawn point. Which I love about 1.15, because if I die here, I'll just respawn here, and then blippity-blop again! Alright. So, 
I kind of hope there's a trident. I'm uh, not gonna lie, I'm hoping for a trident. Stealth attack, we'll put ya! I've been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed, so I'm with it. I don't think there's a trident because I think I would have been smacked with it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, the air. I forgot about air. Silly me! <laughs> I always do that. <laughs> oh, one of them has a Nautilus shell! That, I think I have... If I When I kill this guy, I'm gonna have three Nautilus shells. And I'm like a third of the way, pretty much. Because I need eight. Because I already have a Heart of the Sea. So, I need eight Nautilus shells to get... To make a conduit. And then... I need to find some prismarine, mine it, and then I can set up a base near an ocean and have water breathing and like water speed and everything with the conduit, like at full power. And uh, hopefully we can do that this series. That would be sick. So let's see if there's any chests around here. All right, what about over here? No, these are like the worst ruins ever. Bruh, 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 come on. Whack, yo, you guys suck. Although I'm totally gonna mind the, because like I like the aesthetic of the like cracked and the mossy cobblestone. Sick. Let's keep going north. Yep, north. Oh, crud. I just need to make sure he doesn't fall off. So I'm just gonna roll like this for a while. Ooh, a jungle? I hope there's slimes here, bro. Oh, that'd be sick AF. All right, it looks like this is our stop. And our horse and arm, I, I we, we, yeah, we made it. Okay, cool, that's great. Give me the... Okay. Like, no offense, but get your butt over here. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Alright. Oh, I do not miss the days when you used to break a boat and it would just shatter into, like, wood planks and sticks. <laughs> that was the stupidest thing. Oh my gosh. Let's get this die. So we can dye some sheep. Yeah. Because that's another thing I want to do. Is uh, get some like dyed sheep up in this biznitch. Whoa, dude. Check this out. That's so cool. Oh, I love stuff like that. And it's like... Could you imagine like having a base here? Like, having it go all the way up. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, dude. Like, don't even get me started, bro. Oh, it's Savannah. Oh, it's Savannah, though. Like, that's cool. Uh, chop down, like, an acacia tree. Get some, uh, acacia saplings so we can plant it in our, uh, little base. We'll get, we're gonna have a tree farm eventually. I just don't know where. <gasps> Oh no, this is hella far. Oh, how am I gonna... So, the only way... Damn it. You know what? I could just make it, like, near here and, like, make another portal to it. Just because, like, I want a villager trading system, but the thing is, is it needs to be safe. It needs to be somewhere, like... Because it's gonna be an established village, uh, pillagers are, when they attack there, they will start a raid. And so, when it starts a raid, I need to make sure the villagers are somewhere where the pillagers cannot get to them. So, I think I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna have to leave this for later. But let me get, let me get a, a tree really fast. Come here. Oh, you know what? I don't even have to finish getting this tree. 
we already got a sapling. That's that's ridiculous. That's awesome. Okay, cool. Let's loot this village, and we can't we can't forget about this dude here up here. So pants, nice. Uh, but no thanks. All right, let's see what's up here. Cartographer, let's get some paper. All right, let's put some things in here that we don't really need. Zombie flesh. Uh, don't need the stone brick. I do want the... Okay. Let's keep going. <gasps> A brewing stand! I don't even gotta go to the nether, bruh! Hell yeah! <laughs> I'm sick! That's awesome because the guys in the nether hate me. <laughs> I went into their hood once and I, uh, I, I, yeah, I assaulted one of them. I did. Uh, but it was an accident. Oh, gosh darn it. And I will come back here and I will capture some of you and bring you to my nearby, uh, like, I don't know, secret <laughs> base. Uh. Oh, I'm gonna capture one of your cats too. I have hella fish. Okay, let's grab wild and go. Sounds like a saying. Well, I gotta grab wild and go, boys! <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna make it a saying now. Time to grab wild and go. Can we make it? Oh, we made it. That's not good. That's not good, no. It's super bad. I don't want to die, please. Okay, it's time to continue going north now that I read that village. Sick, bro. You think I can make it? <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll just, like, go down this beach. You okay, Wild? Ah! Oh! <laughs> when you're looking at your kid in the back seat, and then the oncoming lane is in front of you when you turn him around. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a bad joke. All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's get let's go in here. I can already see. Oh my blob! Oh, sick. I like how my. Oh, that's not good. Buried treasure map. Okay. Let's keep going north. That was a pretty good. Oh, you know what? I have the buried treasure map. That's right. We gotta find buried treasure. So. I guess we'll find it on the way back. So let's do one more cool find, and then we'll head back. You're gonna have to stay cool, Wild. Stay there. I'll be back soon. Dun 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 dun. Oh, sick. Dun 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 dun. All right, let's go back down. Dun 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 dun. Oh my gosh, this is not making it easy. Dun 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 gravel. Dun 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 dun. Oh my gosh. Let's try this one more time, or else I'm gonna be. Dun 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 dun. Oh my. All right, let's get this buried treasure. Come on. Okay, so it should be right here. Hopefully. Oh, there it is. There it is. Nice. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, cool. Alright, it's time to go home, so I will see you back at home. Uh, I will be back there soon. Alright. Okay, guys, I just returned from my horse adventure. Slept in my get bed, because when I got here it was night, and I turn around to wake up, and look who's waiting for me. Where'd they go? Oh my god, they there they are. Look, I killed your- I killed your friend! Are you coming- you don't even have anything good. I mean, you have a Nautilus shell. I don't have any emeralds, so guess what, buddy? For crimes against- <laughs> For crimes of trespassing against Lemonia, you must die. I apologize. And now you must die too, because you hit the owner of Lemonia. <laughs> so we got two new leads. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, let's look at all our loot. So this is everything we got. We got a potion, a brewing stand, we got a nautilus shell. Uh, we can start some sweet berries, we got depth strider, we got uh, some dye. Let's see, what else did we get? Another heart of the sea. So not much, we got a bell and we found village, which is great because next episode- Oh my gosh, bro, you scared me bro. So next episode, we're going to start on our villager trading system, and I'm super excited. But honestly, guys, that's going to be it for me today. I'm super glad you guys stopped by to watch. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Come visit me for next video. It's going to be a skit. So don't forget to give me a like, subscribe, and a comment, and share with your friends. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, everybody!